welcome to top education in this session we are doing the fourth chapter of fm so here we have pbp which is payback period and then we have arr accounting rate of return and then we have what else yeah npv net present value and irr internal rate of return so guys here quickly we'll go with the format and how to do these sums also and guys each video will be have each topic means irr will have in separate video all will be having separate video so you can understand clearly okay so let's begin with it so payback period here guys we need number of years this is the formula actually for payback period so where uh, number of year plus initial investment minus cumulative frequency that will calculate cumulative frequency as like 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 10, 30. So this is how we are calculating cumulative frequency. Then cash flow, where will mark down? Yes, in cumulative, will mark down, will mark down in this also, will mark down the year also, and then we will get. So guys, actually this is for 2 marks and 6 marks, and maybe for 14 marks also. Okay, so this only the formula we have to utilize and the table. That's it. Next, guys, in payback period, we have something different. So when they have given profit before tax and depreciation for payback period, for payback period, we actually have to use EBIT. Actually, guys, you can write down the EBIT format also. If not, you can add here P. If you don't want E, just put here P. P B I T. Pay, uh, so it will be like for payback period only. So the amount of the total of the column or the total of the column you will put here in depreciation you will calculate on the initial investment okay initial investment then you will minus you will get this tax may be 50% or the given percentage from that sum you will minus you will get this so actually here you are adding depreciation again in payback period what happened here is only you have to deduct the tax and again you are adding the depreciation so here you will get the amount the same amount which you have added here the same amount you will add here and write down here and this will be the answer for payback period okay guys so this was payback period actually now we'll go to the accounting rate of return be clear uh, rewind this video see because this is very tough to understand we'll do one sum also for you okay don't worry now we are doing ARR. ARR means accounting rate of return. So here we have a formula ARR is equal to average profit after tax. So average profit we need after tax. Okay. So here also you will use this thing but depreciation is not added again. Here the depreciation is not added again. Only after the tax will take the amount here. And average investment, average investment into 100. So guys here we will be having first step. First we will calculate average profit. Okay, average profit same as EBIT. You can put here as uh, earnings or profit also P. You can use here P also or E also. It's your wish, no problem. Average investment. So average investment, you have three types of investment. We'll learn, okay? And ARR. Last, we'll calculate the whole formula. First, you're calculating this part. Second, you're calculating this part. And third step, you're calculating the whole sum. So here I was talking about average investment. So guys, in average investment, when no salvage or uh, what we say, scrap value is given, then uh, you'll write like this. The formula will be original investment divided by two. The same amount which you have divided here, you have to write down here actually. Here. Average investment and the okay. So next we have when salvage is given. When salvage is given, AI. AI means average investment is equal to original investment minus scrap value or we can say salvage also depreciation also so divided by two when salvage and working capital is given in the question i think yes it is given in the question when you have salvage minus the salvage when you have working capital and salvage first original investment minus salvage or scrap value or depreciation water may be then working capital plus salvage you will add this both you will minus this both you will add this both here you have plus okay so divided by two only you are dividing this two that's it understand 
clearly yes next we'll go to npv net present value here it is very easy guys here into pv factor so they may ask for the amount is 2 lakh so find out the pv factor how you will find out the pv factor we have done in the video also 1 plus 9 percent you will get 1.09 so 1 divided by 1.09 you will get some uh, 0 0.9909 put the equal sign put the equal sign for 6 years you will get for 6 years also then total it up you will get some amount 4.46 something so that you will multiply with this this is for 2 marks now we will talk about 6 marks where you have year column cash flow also I have written the single line okay here so it is here it will be many lines year cash flow pv factor guys actually they will give in the question only many times they will give in the question so don't worry then pv cash flow how we'll find out 2 lakh 20 thousand into 0 0.990 you will get the answer total it up <coughs> so here what you will do is you will have three columns actually okay so here you will multiply all this amount and you will get this we'll get this total it up okay so the total it this much so minus original investment you will get NPV here you will get NPV this is for 6 marks maybe for 14 marks also okay guys next we have IRR IRR is the very easiest sum same you will do the multiply only here also you will multiply but here you will have two types of percentage maybe 19 percent 20 percent in the question so here the 19% will be lower factor and 20% will be higher factor and the cash flow of this this total ratalwa e 19% to total lower factor cash flow alwagate <coughs> so 20% do higher cash flow alwagate aa tara na il nodi origin irr is equal to a a is the lower factor lower factor is 19 adik 19 aki illi plus c minus o illi c e ni cash flow of lower factor is the total e ni illi total a total na illa ak bekko matto illi no ak bekko minus o original investment illa ki d andre cash flow higher factor idar do higher factor do e ni rathe idu higher factor and 20 percent high idal wa idar do total lo illa ak tira d illi into b minus a b e ni de higher factor idu b 20 minus 19 so if you uh this simplify you will get the answer so this is known as irr okay so thank you guys for watching this video and we are guys we are putting uh, each and single topic will be having a separate video so just see the video and score good marks in your examination and thank you guys for watching this video if you like then please subscribe our channel top education thank you